Good morning. Happy Friday, first grade. I hope you're having a great day so far. Today is Friday, October 23rd, 2020. It is the 37th day of school. So I have 25, 35, 36, 37, 37 cents for the 37th day of school. Today, your special is maker at 1145. And the riddle today that I will, again, try to remember to answer, but if not, you just let me know during the morning, uh, morning call if I forget. Uh, what gets wetter as it dries? What gets wetter as it dries? What do you think? All right, so let's, uh, if you'd like to join me for the Pledge of Allegiance, and then we'll go over the schedule. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, so coming out this morning, uh, first thing at nine, you will have your math application problem, and that will be for lesson 29, just wanted to make sure I said the right number. Then there will also be a Kahoot uh, for math, and that is, we'll be practicing, um, the game will be practicing doubles and doubles plus one. The other thing that I am going to send out this morning is another geode text read aloud. So if you remember last week, I shared Library Cat with you. This week, uh, I'm going to read a called Just in Time. But I wanted to show you something really cool. So just hang on one second. Okay, so you re may remember in the Library Cat text, I had gone through the pages at the end without reading to give you a chance to read. And this week I tried something different so you can see how that worked on the video for Just in Time. But uh, we found a better, an even better solution that I will send you. I will send you a link. And so you'll see, you know, I'll put a link in Seesaw. And if you tap on it and you open it, it takes you to your own kind of personal library of all the geodes that we have, or some of the geodes that we have so far with module one. So you can click on it, and these were made in Book Creator. I don't know if you remember using that app at all, but you can find, um, you know, Library Cat and open it. And then you can click through and read at your own pace, at your own time, and you have uh, a digital version of, of the book that you can read yourself. So uh, I'll send the link to be able to open that. Let me know if you have any trouble uh, doing so, but this should work out really, really well. So you'll be able to read all of the geodes as well. And then when I'm in the screen, if I want to get back to the main page with the rest of the books, I just hit library and it brings me back to uh, the library. So this week we're reading just in time. So you could just go right on there and read along or read, you know, after you listen to me reading, you could read, read it yourself here. Okay. So it's uh, a nice chance to get in some extra reading time and to practice your fluency and to read some uh, interesting books. So I hope you enjoy that. Let me know if you're having any trouble accessing this uh, or getting to it, you know, let me know. All right, then this morning at 10, we will have uh, our normal 10 o'clock class meeting. And uh, we're going to take a vocabulary assessment. And if you remember in your second supply box, you should have seen this paper. Okay, so there should be two of these vocabulary assessment papers that came in the um, Manila folder 
in your second supply box. So if you could please find the one that says 16B, and it looks, it's, it's just like this, and there's a back to it, but it's just a single, single sheet. If you could please grab that and bring it to our morning class. What might also be helpful is just to also grab a piece of blank paper or something, because what we're going to do is uh, we will, I'm, I'm going to read you questions like scenarios and you're going to circle, you know, either yes or no, if that word applies to the to the question or the situation but sometimes it can be hard to keep track so sometimes it's nice to have um, like something to slide down so I don't know if you have a bookmark or just a plain piece of paper or really anything that could could act as like a sheet a, a blocker and allow you to slide it down so just a suggestion but if you could please bring this for 10 o'clock that would be great and we'll we'll go over that together in our live call and then we will have our normal mass at one and uh, that will take us into the weekend so let me know if you have any questions and have a great uh, you know rest of your morning and I'll see everybody soon okay thanks and don't forget that uh, next week starting on Monday starts our holiday harvest theme week so if you want to wear a, um, a you know, Halloween shirt on Monday or wear your favorite fall color on Monday to our morning class. That would be great. Uh, and it's, again, just optional for fun. But I will see everybody soon. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.